Hi guys, welcome to Monetize. It's time to record the new weekly forecast for the trading week starting on December 19th. As usual, let's begin from dollar index. So here's the monthly chart for dollar index. And let me clear the previous drawings and markings and I've turned it into a line chart. As per line chart, this is the official base and here is the break of structure. Let's apply Fib retracement. So starting from the bottom, taking to the recent high. Let's zoom into the levels. So as per Fib retracement, uh, it has crossed 38.2% and there is still room towards 50%. So I think based on monthly, dollar should correct towards 50% level. It should be around 102. And if it goes further down, then it should be around 99, which is 61.8% level. As per weekly, there is a slowdown in the bearish momentum. And the weekly candle is not so convincing it's a doji candle moving further to daily on daily as i've mentioned in my previous video that we are seeing some slowdown here in the bearish momentum this is the slowdown i'm talking about now it has already broken above this declining wedge pattern which is a bullish pattern a break above the declining wedge means bullish pattern so let's mark the upcoming targets okay again moving back to a line chart and the zone of resistance would be around 108.25 the next zone would be around 109.63 so if dollar starts rising it has already started rising and this is the break above the falling trend line so i believe it should touch the resistance the first resistance around 108.25 and then start correcting downwards or the second scenario would be towards 109 or 110 and then start moving downwards so this is the plan for dollar index so definitely it is going up in the uh, coming few days four hourly is also bullish and we have a massive bullish divergence here on the four hourly bullish divergence this is the lowest point second lowest and structure high would be here which is slightly above 105.5. So let's see how it behaves. I think it is going to go upwards in the coming days. Now the next currency pair I'm going to take is Euro versus Pound Euro GBP. Euro GBP. I'll start from the monthly time frame. So here is the line chart for monthly time frame. Bullish BOS base and let's apply Fib retracement starting from this base to the recent top. Okay. So after this breakout to the upside, it came down for the correction towards 61.8 to 78.6 and again started moving up now the new fib has to be applied from this leg i'm talking from this base to this area so let's apply the second fib here starting from this base to this area Okay, now the duplication zone. The duplication support zone is coming here. A very solid support around 0 
let me zoom in after getting a bullish bounce from this duplication fib area it has also created a higher high pattern i'm moving to weekly now so higher high pattern is visible here high higher high and higher low higher low so clearly a bullish pattern on monthly and weekly it's time to check another fib retracement from this low to the top and again it has come back to the 78.6 percent and started rising again plus we also have hidden bullish divergence here hidden bullish coming in play higher high formation on macd as well so everything says bullish about euro gbp all factors hint towards bullish direction and we also have the reversal here downward trend two doji candles in between weekly candles and now a massive bullish candle so it has formed a new base around 0 0.8540 so invalidation of the bullish plan would be a break below 0 0.8540 so this is the invalidation level for the bullish scenario now let's identify the target So here I'm going to apply Fib extension starting from this base, first high and first pull down. Okay, so currently we are around here. So the next upcoming target would be the previous high that is around 0 0.9266. The current market price is 0 0.87. So there is a very high probability of getting a 500 to 600 pips move in the upcoming days and weeks but please keep in mind that after december 23rd the market would be closed so if you're getting involved in this trade please keep in mind that you have to hold this trade for upcoming weeks and days so it's going to be a mid to long term trade based on daily we have lower low formation here and we have bullish divergence here we still need to cross above this area of resistance which is around 0 0.88 something so let me bring my cursor here 0 0.8808 but ultimately the plan remains bullish for euro gbp the next instrument i would like to cover is gold starting from monthly so based on monthly line chart here is the previous high and this is the latest low so let's mark fib retracement upside down starting from the top towards the downside moving to candles again and applying fib retracement from this top to the recent low so there is a very high probability that it will correct towards 50 to 61 or 61 to 78.6 zone so the upcoming target for the upcoming weeks and months would be around 1894 to 1971 let's see what's happening on weekly the weekly MACD is still bullish current weeks candle is a doji candle even the previous candle was a doji candle so indecisive monthly says bullish weekly latest two candles are doji candles now let's apply fib extension here starting from the base to the first push down okay it has reached the extension level of 1.786 and the 200 percent cycle completion would be around 1845 and 300 percent cycle completion would be around 1960 which is again the duplication of fib retracement 78.6 so for the upcoming weeks it should remain bullish 
Now, what is the scenario in the near term? Short term scenario. Again, moving to line chart, and we have some sort of bearish divergence here. So we have higher high formation, but a slowdown in MACD. So this is giving us a bearish divergence. Now, bearish divergence is the first hint towards the bearish price action, but we do not have the break below this area. So this area is 1768. So maybe it will keep on ranging here for a while and then complete its bullish cycle. Alternative scenario, it may come down towards 1730 and then continue towards 1845 followed by 1960 if it is going to fib extension 300 percent cycle in the near term if you want to sell just collect your profit above 1768 moving to four early why i am looking for a sell trade in the short term just in the short term because we have bearish divergence and we also have a lower low formation here lower low on macd and lower low on the price action on the price candles so a short term corrective action is highly probable moving back to one early chart same scenario lower low and now it is going back up for the retracement so retracement could end around this area which is around 1810 and then a push towards 1770 so it may keep on ranging between 1770 to 1810 for a while and then continue upwards or a worst case scenario it may come down back towards 1730 and then resume its upward journey towards 1845 followed by 1960 in the upcoming weeks and months but in the near term i would be looking for a short term sell trade around 1805 to 1810 with a stop loss above 1820 and target should be around 1765 to 1770 so this is the plan for gold in the near term because dollar is getting bullish in the near term the next instrument i would like to cover here is crude oil usdt wti starting from monthly Clearing our lines and okay, so this is the pattern on monthly. Monthly bullish divergence, monthly BOS, new high created, and now we are under the pullback correction. So let's apply FIB retracement starting from this bottom to the recent high. Okay, there is a very, very high probability of crude oil touching 65 to 64 area in the upcoming days and weeks as per the FIB retracement level. And a good resistance is around 79 to 80 area. The current monthly candle is below 79.85 and the next destination around Fibonacci 50% retracement area would be around 64.6 in round number we can say 65 let's move to weekly and as per weekly if i apply fib extension towards the downside so taking from this top the first push down and the first push up again the 1.618 fib extension area is again coming to 64.94 so as i have mentioned the fibonacci retracement 50 percent area is around 64.5 to 65 fib extension to the downside 1.618 level is again around 65 so 65 is the magnet zone and resistance around 77.46 to 80 so as far as it stays below 80 dollar mark the next destination would be $65. Moving to daily now. Now on daily, if we turn it into a line chart, this is the previous high. 
breakout structure to the downside new low created now it is in under the corrective phase corrective phase we have to apply fib again starting from this top to the recent low it reached around 50 percent corrective area 50 percent retracement zone it still has room towards 61 to 78 so it may touch 78 or 80 dollar mark and then resume its downward journey i don't think so that the correction to the upside is completed because we have some sort of high high formation here so it was the area of resistance so break of structure bullish breakout to the upside now it is under correction it may resume its upward journey towards 80 dollar mark and then continue towards 65 so in the near term for the very short term it may go towards 80 dollar mark then it will resume its downward journey towards 65 dollars so if you are going to buy in the short term please pay attention it is going to be a counter trend trade the main trend is still bearish and the upcoming bearish target is 65 and if by any chance it breaks above 83.34 or 83 in round number then the bearish plan would be invalidated so guys these are the instruments which i've covered technically on various uh, multiple on various time charts multiple time frames and i've tried to give you a clear picture if you still have any doubts you can get back to me and have a profitable trading week ahead Please show your support, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give a thumbs up. Take care and bye-bye.